a morning raid at Al-Aqsa, as thousands of people had gathered for Ramadan prayers. According to eyewitnesses, Israeli police entered the mosque compound saying they wanted to preempt any violence. I was there when the clashes happened. We were all worshipping inside the mosque and the Israelis are the ones who attacked first. Our people were already prepared to confront them. But Israeli authorities say Palestinian youth struck first, hurling stones at the officers. Dozens of worshippers have been injured by rubber bullets, stun grenades and buttons. Hundreds have been arrested. Turkey has condemned Israel's actions as unacceptable, saying it is concerned by the increase in tensions in recent days. In a statement, the foreign ministry has emphasized the importance of protecting the status of Al-Aqsa Mosque, especially during this sensitive period. Palestinians view the deployment of Israeli forces at the compound as a serious provocation. Last year, weeks of protests and raids at Al-Aqsa during Ramadan escalated into an 11-day assault on besieged Gaza. This year, the Muslim Holy Month coincides with the Jewish Passover feast and the Christian Easter weekend. We are in the month of Ramadan and the Israelis must give consideration to this holy month and avoid any provocative actions. Israel has signaled a desire to de-escalate tensions, but with an accompanying warning. We are working to calm things on Temple Mount and throughout Israel. At the same time, we are prepared for any scenario. But its assurances appear to contradict footage of the attacks at the entrance of the mosque and the explosions inside. By early afternoon, the situation had returned to normal. But normal is an Israeli occupation that dates back to 1967. And for Palestinians, as long as Israeli boots are on the ground in occupied Jerusalem, any calm that prevails will always be undermined by the threat of violence.